Whatever could it be, whatever could it be that come for the skid steer? Right there. They're installing it right now. That's a Utsi bar. A friend of mine got his here a month or so ago and absolutely loves it. And I had ordered mine right before he got his. And I didn't know he'd ordered his, but when I found out he did, I was like, I know I'm gonna like it. So they come all the way from Dubuque, Iowa to install this today. For you guys that don't know what a Utsi bar is, they're fairly new. It's a buck saw attachment for a skid steer. And I hate bucking logs. And I think this is gonna make my life a lot easier. I've been eyeballing these for a while and was curious about them. They're not cheap. But again, I've heard nothing but good things about them. And I'm excited to try mine out. Now I got mine a little beefy. It's running three quarter pitch chain. A little bigger curve, but I think it will be handy for the places we log. Some big teeth. It's a big bar. I think it's like 38 inches maybe. They're installing the camera system right now, making sure all the pressures are right. We're going to go buck some logs here in just a second. Um, again, you can stack logs with this, buck logs with it. Uh, it kind of eliminated, eliminated me from buying another set of forks, which forks are getting high anyway for these skid steers. Uh, I priced a set of 60 inches, and they were like 45, 4,600 bucks from deer. And deer's forks ain't the greatest in the world anyway. You get a good company like Arrow, they're going to cost quite a bit more. saw attachment and he's going to make sure the pressures are right I guess on the bar itself. This is what I like. You can get these logs up off the ground. And I told him to do the first couple of them. I kind of watch him. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna do just a little bit of adjustment on the camera because it's not quite on. Um, so we're like all the buttons on the joysticks. I'm guessing you're pretty much using them yeah, to, well, to either run the saw or the slide just in or out. Actually, just actually two buttons. Two buttons. Yep. On one, I use this thumb right here, and it's the one in closest to you. So uh -huh. the bottom one's the saw, the top one. inside the bar. You know you're going to hit it. Thank you. 
at the control station. You can see our monitors up, and I've got a place to hard mount that, or I got the equipment to hard mount it. We've just got a suction cup right there for now, just to kind of. It's there. We'll move it out of the way because it can be in the way of the lap bar here if you're not careful. And this thing is pretty heavy. They said this attachment weighed close to 2,000 pounds, so that's a fairly heavy attachment. Uh, they did give some tips about starting at the top of the log and working your way back. So we'll just uh, listen to them on that. Dad's got a mark here. He marked these up last week. We've already bucked up my mark today. We'll see if we can come in here. Of course, you kind of, if you look, and again, learning curve. So at first, your roller just just runs your clamshell. Then you switch over here. Once you push the bottom button, that'll run your buck saw, which I can't do both at the same time because, like I said, it takes all hands. This runs your slide on moving your bar in or out. Again, just switch your electric circuit here, then on your hydraulics, and you're good to go. Okay, so I got the log and the, and the clam here, and you can see you need to run off this bottom or this middle mark right here. We're not lining up like we should. Again, I really need a phone mount to kind of show, uh, better show this. I'm going to have to pause and go again. All right, so we moved it in, and you can see how the bar is still moving. Now we're going to, again, we can't cut all at the same time. I'll see if I can hold it out here. We can cut. I don't know if we can or not. Bear with me. Bear with me. It's crude. Okay, so we're not hitting the mark. 